everything propaganda. No propaganda. Some, 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 some bandana. Big stack a lot of hoes like Santa. Do a birthday party on a phantom. Big shit. Attitude of a fall on the What it do, man? What you gonna do if I leave? I said, I'ma do me. B-I-G, bitch, everything zoomed in. Big bag on me, looking like I'm moving in. Got my foot in the door, and we spent millionaire. I broke the code. If he go back, he'll be back again. Oh, damn. We better make you bitch back again. Take my ass. 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 Take with another video you know and I'm very excited and let me tell y'all what this is gonna be about but no no let me tell y'all what happened to me right so you know I don't really like like I said I've never shared my personal business on here like this but you know I feel like this personal business can turn to advice which is why I'm making this video so let's get it so one of my dreams, besides being a chiropractor, is to be a full-time model. Or, full-time model, but still have a business outside, you know, a model, you know, for, for we, we, okay, okay. You know, last year, I, I started taking classes at an agency, right? But, and I finished those classes a year ago, right? And I just needed my certificate so I could, like, go to the agency and, you know, audition and stuff. But I couldn't do that. I couldn't get my um, certificate without paying the money. So it took me a whole year to pay like two hundred dollars off you know or three hundred ish you know right and, and you know like throughout that whole year i was complaining to my parents because you know i had a job but then i you know, i spent my money on other stuff so i was complaining to my parents instead of paying myself right so i was like guys like why haven't why haven't y'all paid it off you know i was basically b blaming them for stuff that i should have get upon myself to do if it really meant that much to me you know so, you know, I waited a whole year to finally pay it off, and this past week, I paid it off. And throughout that whole year, I was like, this in my head, like, oh my gosh, you know, all these classes I've taken are basically down the drain because because I haven't went to agency yet, and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I need more work, you know, and I'm about to go to college, so it's like, the classes that I have to take, it's going to be hard for me because I'm going to be in San Antonio, and I'm going to have to come back down to Houston, and it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh me now you know it's gonna affect me and stuff like that but um so i finally paid it off and then i went to a go see or an open call on wednesday and they told me that i need to retake my pictures that i showed them you know i need to improve on my posing skills you know, I think, you know they're kind of you know i think they're kind of you know not you know but you know i do need to improve i, I knew what they were talking about and what areas I need to improve on, you know, you know, so I was like, uh, and, and I knew that they were going to say this, right, so, like, that whole year, I was like, bro, I know they're going to tell me to do this, oh, you know, time is ticking, right, because I'm only getting older, I'm not getting younger, unless there's a person, there is, somebody hit me up, but I know there's not, but, you know, yeah, right here, so I was like, dang, time is ticking, I know this wasn't asking me about, so, mind you, Everything else was good besides those pictures that I need to retake. And I was like, damn, I knew it, right? And so they were like, okay, I need you to retake two classes, my posing class, and retake the photos, or well, retake the pictures, right? So I went to go drop off my stuff for college, San Antonio, yesterday. And I was coming back today, so I was like, and there was, and God, Lord, thank you. There was a spot open today for both of those classes. So today's Saturday, by the way. Um, so there was an opening for those two classes and I was like, you know what, just, just find me up because I don't even know when I'm probably going to be back in Houston, you know, so, so she's like, okay, I got you, just find me up for those two classes today and, you know, like, in the back of my head, I was just like, you know, I'm just ready to get this over with, you know, hopefully this class can, can go good so, so she can be, so I can retake my pictures and then hopefully one of these Wednesdays come back to um, do an audition again so you know I'm just really trying to get every I, I'm trying I want everything to move fast paced because I feel like I don't have any more time you know because I'm because I, I am getting older and I am going to college college is like a full-time a full-time job I still have 
at the back of my mind, I still wanted to model, you know. So it's like, oh my gosh, you know, I knew I should have done this last year, my senior year. But sometimes, sometimes things aren't meant to go your way, the way that you want. Okay, mind you, when I was booking my class, okay, I, the last time I took my pictures, it was with this other guy. But this time, she was like, okay, well, lucky for you, you know, do you have those two classes that are open? And the two classes are going to be taught by the same person. So it's going to be from 10 to 12. And from 12.30 to 2. So, I was like, okay. What are you doing? Okay, everybody, this is Serena. You know, I was going to show her later, but you know, I have to show her now because this is my niece. She just, hey, if y'all ever talk about her in her area, I'm going to fight me. But she's still beautiful, right? I I'm so beautiful. Uh, yeah, she's just gonna be here. Just ignore her. Well, I go into it, and I'm just thinking like, oh, I can't wait for this class to be over. I already took this class. You know, it's just gonna be the same thing. Hopefully, I learned something that I didn't learn. <coughs> My first class, right? <coughs> so. <coughs> what? <coughs> no, don't touch it. And the whole time, like he's talking. I'm like, okay, you know, you know, I, I understand. When are we going to actually start publishing and working on set stuff? And he was still talking. But mind you, the stuff that he was talking about was actually informative. And I, and I actually learned something from it, you know. Even though I learned something throughout the class, I was just like, you're a learner and I'm, I'm a doer. So in order for me to really get it and improve on it, I have to do it. So the whole time we were just sitting there talking. And I was actually learning something. I was like, you know, interested in it. The crazy thing is, is that like the the person um, that was teaching us was really known, and he, he was telling us a story how he started off like selling selling luggage, you know, and then he went to New York and started taking pictures, and he realized that's what he wanted to do, and it was just like, dang, you know, you know, a lot of stuff has been going on, you know, in my life, you know. I've, I don't know if it's because I'm going to college or whatever, but, you know, I just been thinking a lot about my life and where I want to be in a certain amount of time. You know, I think everybody, I think everybody has that, you know. So it's crazy that he was just telling us that. And I was like, okay, I get you, man. I understand what's going on. And then towards the end of the class, he, he's telling us his story, and he's like, yeah, and now, now I own one of the biggest fashion shows in Houston. And I was like, huh? And then he says it. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, no, nothing I was gonna dick to you, cause he was like, wow, that's crazy, you know, cause he literally gave up everything to follow his dreams, and you know, a lot of people say that, and you know, you probably hear it on TV, but see it in front of you, or to hear their story, I wanna get to that moment in my life before I have a story to tell, you know, and I have a purpose to walk everything, you know, for something I love. Oh, yeah, so, oh, example. Okay, one of the things that I really got out of what he said, you know, throughout, throughout the 10, 10, throughout the four hours, is that nobody else has your back better than yourself, you know? Like, you're the only person that can encourage yourself, that can make yourself want or chase after your dreams, you know? So for all the people who are watching this, I just want to tell you that you can do it. And even though, even though you might have people in your corner that are like, why are you doing this? Why are you like giving up what you have for this? Like, it's okay because, you know, there's always a reason for everything, you know? It's always a reason So you have like a really nice job, but it's not what you want to do when you quit, you know? It's a reason for that. It's a reason that you got the job. It's the reason that, that you were put in that position to, to quit it. You were put in that position so that you can know in the back of your mind that you're not making the wrong decision, you know? I want to tell everybody that, that it's okay to go follow after your dreams, even if, like, your family members or the closest person that you have to you might not understand. But it's just the fact that you understand and that you know what you want and you know where you want to go. You know? but I always try to have the mindset as to where, like, wherever I walk into, everybody will like me, everybody will be able to relate to me because of the way I present myself, you know? I always try to be a people person because, you know, that's the best thing to do, you know? And get contact, because, you know, I'm a I just want you to know that whatever you want to go get, believe that you can get it. Because if you don't believe that you can't get it, 
the moment you step foot in there, you won't have it, you know? Somebody else will have it. So, you know, hopefully I can take my own advice, you know, and do that. And in a couple of years, I'm going to come back on here and be like, yeah, guys, don't look at that. I need to look down. Okay. I'm going to be like, yeah, guys, I'm a chiropractor and a model. Fuck with me. Right? Right, Mommy? Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, his advice to me, to you, works for you, and it helps and encourages you as much as it encourages me. Last but not least thing, right, is patience is a virtue, right? Imagine if I had, if I had paid for the class a year ago, or, or if I was signed a year ago, you know, I probably wouldn't be in this position that I am to where I get to, you know, actually interact with him so he could get to know who I am instead of going, like, let's say, me going somewhere and it's like 10,000 other models of people there, he can't really see me for who I am, you know? So I'm just glad that I had that opportunity. And, you know, patience is everything. Even if something might not go your way the first time just know in the future it will extend to what you believe then you know if that makes sense here mommy oh oh, oh you don't want to oh okay so you know last but not least you know god always has a plan for us you know so if it might not come the way you think it'll come he's already preparing a plan an even better plan for you to get I just want everybody to know that if you have a dream and if you have people down in you, if you don't have people in your circle who are, I just want to tell you that you can get it. You might not get it in a month, a week, or a year, or two years, but you will get it, okay? That concludes me. I mean, my advice. I would play music to exit out, but I don't know what she's doing. Alright, so yeah, let's say bye. I hope everybody has a blessed day. <laughs>